All right, before we jump into our first trigonometry assignment, we need to do a quick geometry review. There's lots of symbols in geometry um, to help us to make sense of our drawings. So let me just review with you some of the notation you may see, some of the symbols you may see when we're doing trigonometry. It'll almost always be a triangle. And so oftentimes with triangles, we'll label the corners or the vertices of the triangle with capital letters and we'll label the sides across from those vertices with lowercase letters. So this would be side A, you would have side B across from angle B, and side C across from angle C. If you see a little square in the corner of the triangle, that means it's a right triangle, and trigonometry is based on right triangles, so you're gonna see a lot of that. Um, we've got the good old Pythagorean theorem that tells us the relationship between the links of the sides in a right triangle. It tells us that the short side squared plus the other short side squared equals the long side squared. Now sometimes we call these the legs and then the long side we call the hypotenuse. You can only have a hypotenuse in a right triangle because the hypotenuse is always the side across from the 90 degree angle. Um, another thing you might remember about triangles, and this is true for all triangles, not just right triangles, but the sum of the angles of the triangle add up to 180. So angle B plus angle A plus angle C, I don't know why I said those in backwards order, equals 180 degrees. So again, let's label these A, B, and C. Um, what else do we know about triangles? Oh, we have our special triangles. We have two special right triangles. We have the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and the 30, 60, 90 right triangle, no matter, no matter whether it's a large 30, 60, 90 right triangle, a small 30, 60, 90 right triangle, upside down, doesn't matter. Okay, if it's got a 30 degree angle in one corner, it's and a 90 degree angle in another corner, then the third angle has to be 60. And the ratio of the sides of this 30, 60, 90 triangle will always form the following um, proportion. It'll always be the side across from the 30, if you call that x, the hypotenuse will be double that, and the side across from the 60 will be the square root of three times whatever that x is. So you could have something, say for example, that across from the 30 degree angle you had five. Okay, If that's your base, you call that x, then the hypotenuse is always going to be twice that, so it would be 10. And then the side across from the 60 degree angle would be always 5, or whatever the base is, x times the square root of 3. And so a lot of times you'll see 1, 2, square root of 3 as the most simplified ratio for a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. So we call that a 30, 60, 90. And you need to memorize the relationship between the sides in a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. We have another right triangle that you have to memorize. It's the 45, 45, 90 right triangle. 45, 45, 90 means that the two angles are exactly the same, which means the two sides across from those two angles are exactly the same. And then the hypotenuse is always going to be whatever that side is times the square root of 2. And again, that works no matter how you draw your 45, 45, 90 right triangle. Okay, let's say that this was 7. This would be 7 also because this is a 45, 45, 90. And that means this would be 7 square root of 2. That's called a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And again, you need to memorize those. Um, now, if you have been given, for example, a 30, 60, 90 right triangle, and that 30, 60, 90 right triangle you've been given the length of the side across from the 60 degree angle, and it doesn't have a radical three in it, it's a little bit harder to go backwards because instead of multiplying by radical three, you just have to divide by radical three. But you know how mathematicians are, they don't like you to divide by a radical, so they make you rationalize it. So for example, let's say that we had this 30, 60, 90, and in that 30, 60, 90, let's say that we knew that this side right here was um, 12. Could we figure out how long the other sides were? Well, we could, because this is the side across from the 60 degree angle. And if we want to find the side across from the 30 degree angle, we need to divide by the square root of 3. 
So we would take 12 and we would divide it by the square root of 3. And that would be 12 divided by the square root of 3, but we have to rationalize that. So you'll see the answer written in proper math form. So they would do that. They would do 12 square root of 3 over 3, and then that would reduce to 4 square root of 3, which is weird because now the square root of 3 is on the side across from the 30, which is not what we think of, but it actually is... Um, the correct ratio. And then to double it, to figure out what is the length of the side that goes over here, what's that side? The side across from the right angle called the hypotenuse. You would take the side across from the 30 that we just found to be 4 square root of 3, and you would double it. So 2 times 4 square root of 3. So you would get 8 square root of 3 for the side that we call the hypotenuse. OK, Pythagorean theorem, I think you guys know how to do that. You know how to find um, the missing angles of a triangle by subtracting from 180. All right, last thing, similar triangles. This is a symbol we use in geometry for two triangles or any two shapes that are similar. Similar means same shape, different size. And so you can also set up proportions for similar triangles to find the missing sides. All right, I think that'll do it for your geometry review.